So what are network zones? A network zone is a section of your network. It is a section of the network you own. We break them up into sections for various use cases. So the best way that I like to break this down is by using school systems. So I'm gonna use Bowie State University as an example. So let's take this circle right here. This would be Bowie's intranet. This network is supposed to be private and kept confidential from the public. Okay, this is where private data, confidential data, confidential business is being taken, is, is taking place. All right, so let's just imagine maybe this this gentleman here is in charge of the he's in charge of payroll. Right? So he's logged into the payroll service making sure everybody is getting paid. Obviously, we don't want those services publicly available. So that's going to be on Bowie's intranet. That's one network zone. Now, this network zone would be the extranet this is still part of our network, but it is in a different zone, okay? This is still private, but it is only accessible to certain parties, okay? Let's imagine this was a student web portal that server in there. Imagine it was a student web portal for students to log in handle their assignments, take care of business, get in contact with their professors, maybe even call Blackboard or Bulldog Connect, right? It's not accessible to the entire public. It's not accessible to the world. It's only accessible to Bowie State students, right? This is a network this is a network that Bowie State University owns, okay? It's privately owned. However, it's only accessible to certain parties. That is an example of another type of network zone, the extranet. And here we have our private zone, which is another type of network zone, the intranet. 